Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We are smack dab right in the middle of this major storm cycle, which is going to last through New Year's Day as it looks at this point. Here's the next storm system in the uh, series. 26 inches of new snow there in the last 24 hours. Palisades, Tahoe, major wind. This storm system moving in, riding a 200 mile per hour jet streak which means it's got a lot of wind energy. And there it is, Park City, snowing and blowing there in Park City, but people loving that powder. So very strong winds today, 50 to 100 miles an hour through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, over the high peaks and at some of the ski areas. Alta, snowing to beat the band there, right there. A lot of snow on the way for Alta, Snowbird, and Little Cottonwood. Um, let's head up to Crested Butte. There's Crested Butte. Strong winds and snow across Crested Butte, one of my bullseyes through this entire uh, storm cycle. Um, I think you've potentially got another three to four feet to go um, this week. And, uh, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible, this pattern that's, that is shaking out and shaping up across a lot of the West. Here's Jackson Hole. You're reporting 13 inches over the last 24 hours. Strong winds. You've got a lot more snow on the way as well with storm systems lined up through the end of the week. Here's the big picture. This is uh, the satellite view over the Pacific Basin and the West Coast. Um, so this is the storm track, basically, that we're going to see run all the way through New Year's Day. And we're also tapping into the subtropical branch of the jet at times. But you can see the lows all lined up. They're coming up at this amplified jet pattern into uh, Alaska and then just basically dropping south, taking all that cold air, and then um, basically nailing the, the west, the high Sierra, into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Each will have a lot of wind with it. And now we're much colder. That first storm, the one that really kicked all this off, was very warm. Now all of these are much colder moving forward. So that is your storm track through the first of the new year. Um, I want to look at the future position of this. Here's the American the GFS model. And let's just step through this. And let me show you how this looks. So there's our storm right now. By Monday morning, it's moving out of Colorado. There you go. Next storm already lined up for the West Coast. Heavy snow coming down through Oregon into the high Sierra of California. Then that storm um, by Monday morning begins to spread snow into the interior. Wyoming, Utah, Colorado starting to see it increase during the day. Snowing into Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be another powder day across Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Um, you can see why with that storm moving through. And then that's Tuesday morning right there. Now by Wednesday morning, Next storm already uh, moving from the west into the interior. So you've got snow on Wednesday morning across parts of Colorado and then by Thursday. Now I'm going to walk you through what's going to happen here at the end of the week. Thursday is kind of a, a wait, kind of a, we're in a holding pattern on Thursday. We're still getting some snow into the interior Rockies, but notice the two features and this is going to be key. Pacific Northwest low and a low off the southwest coast of California. The question right now is, will the two merge? for a larger, a much larger storm, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, across the interior west, or will it be two different storms? Uh, will it be a northwest flow? Those are the, the questions. So let me step you through this. And by the time we get into New Year's Eve, which is right here, there's the 31st, you've got both storms. You've got the one coming out of the Pacific Northwest, one coming out of the Southwest, and snow already into Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. New Year's Day is gonna be a big powder day. I think either way you slice it, whether the merger happens or not, there's so much moisture from both storms. But here we are, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Notice this This tends to believe, this GFS tends to believe in a merger with a larger storm, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Right there on New Year's Day, you can see the lows. So um, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Uh, we'll just leave it out there at that point. That would produce major accumulations, that storm system all on its own. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, between all of today and through the second, these are my, my grand total. So this is all snow that will be falling from today through the second. In Colorado, I've got a couple of pockets of four to five feet. And there's just a couple of those pockets. A lot of other places fall within the two to three foot range. Um, look at Wolf Creek, probably the biggest number I've got on my entire map. I think 75 inches is possible. Um, there's going to be so much lingering snow each day over the San Juans. I think 75 is possible. Look at Crested Butte. I think 67 is only possible if we get the merger into a larger storm system by your New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Otherwise, I think you're closer to, you're probably in the 40s without that merger. Um, so we'll play the merger. Um, uh, otherwise, a couple of feet there, Loveland, Summit County, Vail, Beaver Creek, Keystone. 
up towards uh, a basin snowmass aspen one of my other bullseyes you've got a few feet four feet coming silverton look at taos angel fire ski santa fe in excellent shape finally starting to get some snow down there Again, this is probably taking into account three, four, five different storm systems <laughs> through the second. That's why these numbers are so big. 20, 30, 40 inches in the high Sierra. Some good numbers up there in the Pacific Northwest and so on. Um, let me show you a couple of plumes. So here is Wolf Creek. Again, potentially 75 inches by the second. Again, that takes into account all the snow that's falling today through the second. And um, we talked about those scenarios. Here's plume number two. This is for Park City. Heavy snow right now, all the way through tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big powder day up there. Another big powder day coming on the 30, 31, and one time frame. Um, we'll see again what happens with that uh, that final storm complex um, to end this cycle. Which will it be a merger or will it be a separation of the two? Don't know yet. But um, there you go. That's the way it looks right now, guys. I hope you're uh, finding some of this amazing powder out there. Obviously, use extreme caution out of bounds with all of this new snow and now wind loading. So take care, have a great day. I'll keep things updated right here.